Hi hey guys, uh, welcome back. Just a real quick showcase today of um, my benchtop power supply. So I've been pretty happy with this uh, purchase for various reasons. I use my benchtop power supply to charge up batteries and, and you know um, to power various DC you know electronics. And today what I'm gonna sh show is why I kind of favor this type over the some of the other models online um, mainly for one I think this unit goes up to is it 10 10 amps or 20 amps let's find out so when you turn it on it's gonna go through its diagnostics and this knob will adjust the voltage And this knob would just the amperage. And I think this goes up to 30 volts. No, it only goes up to 10 amps. So, um, well, anyway, that, that, that's not the reason. Um, so let's, let's just keep it at one amp. And voltage, it goes up to 60 amps. Nope, 30. So it goes up to 30 volts and one amp, which is fairly sufficient for most um, most of what we need to do around the house. So let's just put it at 12, something very typical. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna power these uh, USB fans. Well, uh, what do they call it? desktop power case supply fans, cooling fans. And you'll notice that a lot of these cooling fans, they have so many pins, you know, it's not like the good old days where you just have kind of a dumb three pin connection or two pin connection. And so, you know, I find myself with trouble <laughs> finding how to rig these things up. Now, the good thing is this these fans came with a uh, control unit, and this has the power requirements. So on the right pin takes in uh, 12 volts, the left pin takes in 5 volts. And I presume the middle pins are just ground. So there's this adapter here, let's plug that in. Now this is actually a remote control unit. And I imagine there's some sort of a resistive or capacitive regulator in there for the fan and the LEDs, but we're not going to worry about that right now. So we're just going to try and power these fans up. Here's another cable for the lighting on the fan. We're not going to worry about that today. We want to illustrate why I favor these. Well, why I favor this non calf cad non cad I thought I'm not sponsored by them I, I just bought it because of the specifications and wanted to showcase why I purchased this one in, in lieu of a thousand other ones offered on Amazon all right so there's the fan connected and now for the pinout. Ah. There we go. All right, so the pinout, this dashed line right here, is our 12 volt. So we're just gonna connect the dashed line, which is on the far left two and if we turn around it's far right to our plus as such and negative to the just one of the ground pins. I think the grounds are should be connected. So one amp is pretty high. Let's look at the specs on this fan. 
So this is gonna draw 4.2 watts, All right? So you take 4.2, you divide it by 12 volts, you'll get the amperage. So let's do that. Um, how many watts was it? 4.2, okay. 4.2 watts divided by 12. It's 3,500. 350 milliamps. There. So with the settings completely done, you just hit the, um, hit the output button and it starts. Voila. So you notice how like the the current is kind of like very active and you can adjust it live here without shutting it off or whatnot. You know, um, so if you notice we regulate the current. I don't know if you could tell with the refresh rates, but the, the fan speed has been slowed down. So we, we've slowed down the fan. We're regulating the, the fan speed by regulating the power input without going through this thing right here. And, you know. Anyway, so for some of the lesser sophisticated controlled fans, um, you could directly use your benchtop power supply to to metal with the power. So what was this? 350 milliamps. Yep. So this is one of the features that's not in some of the cheaper units, power supplies out there. And just wanted to do a quick demo. And that was a little more long-winded. And I had bought it. Anyway, um, if you're in the market for these bench shop power supplies, or building one yourself, you know, whatever floats your boat, uh, highly recommended. I, I mean, I recommend this brand because I have it. Well, uh, yeah, share your comments below and let me know what you think. Yeah. I hope this helps you. Good luck.